ONZ, we care for you, like we do about Chris, who came to Germany to get his life back. So your surgery starts tomorrow, are you nervous? I was considering looking for the top, um, the top medical help possible. Um, Canada, I guess, has not approved of this surgery yet. Uh, they're a few years behind what German's technology is. Um, they would have probably end up fusing my vertebrae together and with my activities like sports and construction, um, I just wouldn't be able to have um, that loss of movement in my lower back. So I definitely did try whatever I could in Canada first before seeking this. Even before our patients arrive in Germany, we know all about them. We always secure all documentation available from the patient's home country and use it to decide which solution is best for our patients. ONZ operates using the most modern OR technology, efficient and precise, like in this operation involving an implant in the cervical spine. Okay, so this is a, a standard decompression of a severe degenerative disc disease and uh, mild spinal canal stenosis of the cervical spine. And uh, here you see the decompression in the deep. This is the vertebral body here, and uh, this is the intervertebral space. We remove all the time the posterior ligament. It's very important for the remobilization of the segment. And uh, under this instrument here, you can see the, uh, the dura, the skin around the spinal cord. And so you see why it's very, very important to use a microscope during the surgery because of this micro-surgical circumstances here. From our philosophy, it's, uh, there's never an alternative in the, in the cervical spine to do a uh, surgery without a microscope. The ONZ team adheres to the latest and best medical standards. Implants are inserted precisely as needed under constant supervision. Operations can be carried out at the Evangelical Hospital in Hattingen, shown here, or at Elizabeth Hospital in Rechlinghausen. Yeah, for us it's a standard, it's a standard procedure. We do it uh, every day and we have a lot of patients from Germany and uh, from North and South America here with, uh, with these interventions. Prior to her ONZ operation, Rebecca from the United States was hardly able to move without pain. Dr. Birstedt inserted three fully flexible spinal discs of the latest generation, M6 by Spinal Kinetics. An experienced OR team provided expert assistance. The next step now is to test the size, the footprint and the height of the artificial disc and the angulation of the artificial, artificial disc. So um, we have some some tests um, bodies here and uh, we place it temporary in the intervertebral space to see is it the correct size, the correct height and is the artificial disc in the correct position. So this step is very important. Um, because uh, we have to place the uh, artificial disc at the posterior border of the, uh, of the intervertebral space. And uh, now we take an uh, AP view to show if the artificial disc is in the midline. Okay. So the, uh, the test device is in a perfect position. Um, you see the pedicle and see the processus penovis and it's in an exact midline position as it should be. It's a very, very modern artificial disc with a, with a possibility for a shock absorption. And uh, it allows oh. the, full, the full flexibility of the intervertebral space of the segment in uh, lateral bending, inflection and extension, like a healthy disc do. This level is finished, now we have to address the next one. Bruce Kern was operated on six months ago, where he received three M6 cervical spine and three M6 lumbar spine implants. I am very satisfied with the help that I have received. The pain that I was dealing with is mostly gone, and also the, a lot of the numbness in my legs, that is also gone, and I am 
I'm living a lot more of a productive life. With the experience that I have had and what the doctors have done for me, I would definitely recommend Germany for someone that needs an operation such as I have had. We care for you. OMZ collaborates with Europe's largest physiotherapy center, Medicos in Schalke. This is where top athletes in the German Football League come for rehabilitation. And it's where we provide personal care to patients like Rebecca. Hi Rebecca, welcome to Medicos of Schalke. My name is Hübke, I'm your contact person for the next days and I want to show you the whole center. The rehabilitation process begins on the next day after the operation. Initially, while the patient is still in the hospital, the physical therapist trains the patient in the proper way to walk, <laughs> climb stairs, and take care of his or her back. After six days, our patients begin an intensive phase of physiotherapy at the Medicos Rehabilitation Center. Physicians and personal coaches supervise and care for you. And since we had that uh, cooperation with Owen said, we have another kind of quality in the outcome after orthopedic surgery of the spine, and a very good one. That's new. When you get out of your room, um, move a little bit. Yes, I'd say they're very friendly and helpful, and they care, they go out of their way for you, and they have helped me a lot if I had another choice, I would choose this place again. On average, our patients stay at the rehabilitation center for seven days before returning home. Before they are released, however, there's another examination by ONZ. Today, we're examining Chris, so he can go home just 10 days after his operation. If I do this, everything is all right. Okay, perfect. I've never been a patient in a hospital before, but I have heard from my support team uh, many of them have been in hospitals and they said that they've never seen care like they have here um, in Germany. I was well tended to. Um, I, I was just in shock and uh, they kept me laughing and I guess laughter is the best medicine so it really was a good experience there at the hospital. Come to the ONZ and get your life back like Chris and hundreds of patients from all over the globe. Pleasure.